Hey everybody, we're playing another Pokemon game. As you might have guessed, we are starting Pokemon Emerald today. We're going all the way back once again, but I thought this could be a lot of fun. Now, I have kind of a rough history with this game. Long story short, right after I played Fire Red, I went back to the flea market and bought Pokemon, I think Sapphire. What ended up happening was, I played through both games, not realizing they were both fakes. And when I tried to trade across Pokemon, both files got corrupted and I ended up losing both save files. Now, when I did that, I was in the middle of playing, like I said, I think Pokemon Sapphire. And I have not picked up the game since. And I have to be honest, ever since then, I've been a, a tiny hater. I think it's time to prove myself wrong. Or maybe prove myself right, but most likely prove myself wrong. And I thought it's only fair that I gave the game a fair shot. So, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and get started here. Pokemon Emerald. I am excited, don't don't get me wrong, I am excited. Like I said, growing up I wasn't the biggest fan, maybe just because of the trauma. <laughs> but, also I, I've always thought the Pokemon were probably some of those, like, the most lackluster. But, again... I, I'm not going in with a bad attitude. I'm going to enjoy this and I'm going to have fun. And at the end of it, we're going to see how wrong I was. So let's do this. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates, and sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? So we're gonna hit him with the classic. Am I a boy or a girl? I am a boy. Alright, what is your name? We're gonna just stick... Wait, what's... They don't give me, like, a default name? I totally thought they would have given me a default name. Okay, well, if that is the case, then we're gonna go ahead and hit him with a... With a little Dave, you know what I'm saying? That's my name. My name's Dave. Here we go. So it's Dave? Yeah, let's go with Dave. Ah, okay. You're Dave who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Let's do this! The first big decision we'll have to make is our starter, and stick around, I think I'll surprise you guys. Stick around. Alright, so, I have actually, I haven't tested the controls, but luckily this game is played on the Game Boy and there's not many controls to figure out, so, here we go. I think we've got our moving, I've got my shoulder buttons, and then I've got A and B, that's it, so. Dave, we're here honey, it must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. You didn't have to do that. Well, this is a little root town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you go get your own room, Dave. Let's go inside. Hey, there's a Vigoroth. But see, Dave? Isn't it nice in here, too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Dave, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Hey, yo. Yeah, isn't it... What game... No, I'm thinking of maybe Pokemon X where it's like the Macha... No, not Macha. The Machokes that are doing it. And this game is the Vigoroth. That's kind of funny. Okay, so we have a bed. We have a TV. We have a GameCube. Nice. It's a Nintendo GameCube. Very nice. Best, one of the best consoles made of all time. I can't claim it's the best, but my god is that thing goaded. Alright, flip to the notebook. Adventure rule number one. Open the start menu. Progress. Remaining. Okay, whatever. I don't... I've got a big brain. PC. 
Withdraw, deposit, toss. Okay, so we don't have any Pokemon yet. Okay, I don't actually know what she wants me to do. Better get going. Okay. I, I don't know what she... Wait, clock, clock. I have zero brain capacity in listening skills. Dave, go see... Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm kind of dumb, okay? Give me a second. The clock is stopped. Better set it and start it. Um... Oh, shoot. You're making me... Okay, 2.54. So we got... We have to go all the way around town here. 2.54... Yeah, let's do that. Yes, okay. Cool. Dave, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. You should make sure that everything there is all on your desk. Okay, well I mean there's only two things on my desk, so I think I'll I'll be I'll be A-OK. -okay. Oh, Dave, come quickly. Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from the front of Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. <laughs> I think Dad was on, but we missed them. Too bad. Ah, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in the town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door. So you should go over and introduce yourself. Alright, say less. Oh, man, I always... I love the beginning of the game. Maybe you guys call me too sentimental, but like, there's something about this era of video games and starting towns and the simple music that I think is like the true essence of childhood joy. Again, I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but if you go outside and go into the grass, Pokemon will jump out. There's just something about this, like the, the vibe is immaculate, I'll say that much. I guess it reminds me of a time where I didn't have to worry about things, but yeah, it's a great feeling. Oh, hello, and you are? My name is Dave. Hi, you're Dave, our new next door neighbor. Hi, we have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. She's upstairs. I mean, this is a little weird, but sure, I'll head upstairs. Oh, my bad. Huh? Who are you? Oh, you're Dave. So you're with us today. I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I, I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Dave, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Dave, and we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I've just met you. Oh, no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help dad catch some wild Pokemon. Dave, I'll catch you later. Mind if I take this one real quick, though? It's Maze Pokeball. Better leave- oh. What are you doing on the PC, bruh? Okay. Where's the Nintendo game? Why is it yellow? Okay. Alright, let's go, what's up big boy? Okay, the power of science is staggering, indeed. Alright, let's go in the lab. Are you Birch? Huh, Prof uh, the professor's way on field work. Er, go! <laughs> I love Dude, okay, there's like a guy on TikTok who like acts like a nerd, like a, uh, like a Reddit neckbeard, and he, he has the strongest ergo, and I the funniest thing in the world. Alright, let me explain what field work is. It is to study things in a natural environment like fields and mountains instead of laboratory. The uh, Okay, so he, no desk work. Likes to go outside and have an experience. Okay. Okie dokie. Question. Do I... I don't know how hard I have to look in this game. Okay, is there like items and leaves? Once again, I, I, I know I kind of already said in the beginning, but I only played this game one time. It was probably like... 13 years ago, and I never even got past the halfway point. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is the, my first playthrough. Now, I know all about Gen 2, because I play too much Pokemon Go for my own good, but the game itself, it's pretty new, so. Oh, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? I mean, help me. No way he's getting chased by a Zigzagoon. Hello? You over there, please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Dude, you don't keep yourself strapped with a Pokeball? What are you doing? Wait, do we... I don't know if this is where we pick our starter. Okay, so. Here we go. This is, this is the big thing, right? So. The... I think the most popular of the three is Mudkip. 
I think most second popular by far is Torchic. And I think the least popular is Chico. But here's the dealio here, right? You guys know I'm a water water trainer at heart. Inside, I am a water trainer. Do I... Dude, half of my posters here are water. Any, I identify with liquid, right? But I'm actually not a Mudkip. I think is overrated. I don't really like Blaziken, so I think we're weirdly gonna go with Trico here. I'm telling you guys, this is monumental. I have never played with the Leafs of a Grass Starter. I don't think I've ever played with a Grass Starter. So. For, hey, there's a first time for everything. Let's hit him up. Again, first time. This is history of our channel in the making here. Trico. Alright, we got Pound and Leer. Alright, we're gonna Pound you, Zigzagoon. How dare you attack. Oh, no way it's not more than half. Okay, well, he growled anyway, so now I'm gonna have to hit him three times. Well, I was gonna have to hit him three times no matter what. Another growl. Alright, don't growl at me, you weirdo. Right, I'm hitting you again in the face. There you go. Alright. Didn't even get hit, dude. GG. I'm better than you. Whew. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh. Hi, you're Dave. This is not the place to chat. So come by my lab later, okay? So, Dave. I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. By the way, by the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plump? A plump? Dude, on my life, in my 24 years of living on this earth, I have never heard of that word before. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Ah yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Alright, Trico it is, bud. Here we go. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to Trico? Do I name things? Dude, every single playthrough of mine, I never name things. Do I name things? Is, should I make this playthrough a little different? I think I might have to. Alright, you know what? Executive decision on the channel. We will be naming all of our Pokemon, at least the ones that I want to keep. Okay, so we're going to name him Salad. Bro, not Salad, but... Salad. Your name will now be Salad. Here we go. If you work at Pokemon to gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Dave, don't you think it might be a good idea to see May? Yeah. Alright, get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Um... Okay. How do I... Is there... Can I sprint? Oh, wait. Do I need shoes? Are we early enough in the Pokemon games where I still need shoes to sprint? I'm gonna assume that she's not in here, but we'll just quickly check. May, are you in here? No, I didn't expect. And I didn't expect two. Okay, hold on. What's one, three, an item? Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure out all my buttons. Two, three. Okay, I need to stop clicking that. Okay, I don't know. Whatever. I'll learn how to save later. I'm sure there'll be a tutorial on how to save. Route 101. Oh, that's a... Can I not... You're not gonna fight me? You want to... You'll have to go into the grass and search. Okay, well, I'm sure that won't be very hard. Dude, I'm telling you, you know what's my worst fear in life? I dream about it. That... In the beginning of a Pokemon game, when I don't have Pokeballs, I find a shiny. Dude, I'm telling you right now, if I find a shiny out in the wild and I don't have a Pokeball, I'm gonna pull a Jinxie and I will be drop kicking my monitor into the strat into the stratosphere. No way he hit me for a critical, dude. Eat my cheeks, bro. Get out of here. Huh, <sighs> man. All right, unlucky already. That was a little too. Are you gonna fight me? No. Okay. Take them Pokemon Center, there's... Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, the music is goaded. Oh, oh, we're already at Oldale Town. All right, that was quicker than I thought. All right, let's check out what the Pokemon Centers look like in this game. So, PC in the corner. Okay, yeah, I know what a PC does. So, you're Nurse Joy. 
want to restore my Trico or my uh, salad real quick because it got critted. Alright, appreciate it. So we hope to see you again. Yeah, probably not. Okay, so upstairs is where we do the trading, right? Okay, and as usual, that'll be for later. We already had a full playthrough of Fire Red. And y'all know how that works, so we, we caught every single Pokemon that is available inside of this game. And once we're done, we will have to trade all the exclusives. In Pokemon Battle, they eventually level up and become stronger. Yeah, that's usually how it works. Bro, why do I keep clicking in the same house? I'm broken. Alright, here we go. You're not gonna fight me, are you? What are you, what are you standing there menacingly for? So I'm saving my progress. Okay. What are you doing? I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I... Okay. So we, I'm guessing that guy won't let me go then. What about you? The one on the left? Okay. I'll give you an advantage. Well, yeah, that's how t typings work. I got you. Oh, it's the little Pokemon. Can I buy balls, like, off rip here? Ooh. Alright, we're getting... Well, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, no balls. If you don't got balls, I don't want you. No, I need balls. How dare you not sell me balls? Can I like, no? Okay, all right, whatever, bro. I didn't want your balls anyway. I'm sure she's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Yeah, Route 103. Where are you at? I need some balls. A little water. Man, it's like nobody fighting me. Okay, so I think they, they try to give us a break in the beginning of the game. They don't, oh, there she is. They don't have like everyone fighting me all at once. Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh, hi. I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Alright, well, good thing I healed Trico. And I also didn't happen to get into a fight the whole time, so... We're going in. Peak performance salad here. No problem. Oh, and of course, I forgot in recent games, they make it easy on you and they give your rival the thing you're effective against. Psych! Not in this generation. They actually don't care about your well-being and they give your rival the one that's, like, more bad. Okay, let's see. Does he do more? Um... I have higher speed, don't I? I'm like 100% sure I have higher speed here. So, oh, a critical. My boy Salad is already performing, dude. Yeah, we're going straight to the top. Two-time champion. All right, learned absorb. Could be kind of cool. Level seven. Yeah, we're we're absolutely gross. Whoa, that's great. You're pretty good. Yeah, give me that $300. Give me some balls too. I think I know why my dad has an eye for you now. I mean, you've just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. No balls? No balls for me? Alright. No problem. I understand. Alright. Okay, no, but if I go to the Pokemon, there still won't be balls there. Dave, over here. Let's hurry home. Okay. I'm glad they have these skippy things. I don't have to. I don't have to go into the ground again, dude. If I find a shiny, and I don't have balls, it's over, dude. I'm ending the playthrough instantaneously. Okay. Oh, hi, Dave. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long. Well, clearly not that long. Maybe uh, May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Dave, I ordered this from my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Neat. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records his data in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out doing fire field work and shows me. Oh, wow, Dave, you got a Pokedex too? That's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. Ah, <laughs> that's what I'm looking for, baby. Let's go. 
All right, put the balls in my pocket. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want a different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with my balls. Say less. All right, get a... Okay, um, wonder where I should go look for Pokemon next. I don't know. Here we go. It's time. What I should also do... Pull up a... Oh, oh, wait, Dave. You got something? Did you introduce yourself to Birch? Ah, oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, all right. You look good together with the Pokemon. Here, honey. If you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They pull the, they'll put a zip in your step. All right, here we go. Those shoes came with instruction. Where we'll press B while running extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race. Okay, here we go. You're ready on poke. Your father will be overjoyed. Please be careful. If anything happens, come home. Go get him. Okay. All right. Let's give these bad boys a whirl. So I do that and I go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm speed, dude. I'm the embodiment of speed. All right. Let's see. We got how many balls we got. How do I go to my menu? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So it's caps lock. All right. So we got the Pokedex. We just got the one. We got the infamous, the only Mr. Salad. Okay. So that's bad. Okay, so we got our bag. Okay. How many balls did you give me? Five. Okay, that's not a lot. Okay, but either way, it doesn't matter. Let's just see what is in this first patch of grass. And as usual with any Pokemon games, I want to kind of make sure that I catch everything on each route as I go. Route. So, Pokemon Emerald route Pokemon. And let's just make sure we catch a little bit of everything. It's easier that way. Instead of just, you know, finding everything on accident. Absorb, what does this do? Do I get a little something back? Are you gonna give me some health? I'll take some of your health. Yeah, I appreciate that. Gimme. So we're in Johto, right? Wait, no. Are we in no we're yeah, we're in Johto. Wait, we're in Hoenn? Huh? Oh, apparently we're in Hoenn. Is this is is this Gen 2? Am I dumb? I just killed it on accident. Yeah, I'm I'm severely lacking. Wait, okay, no, hold on, hold on, wait. Wait a minute. What gen is Pokemon Emerald? Third? What sec? Oh, a second Pokemon second. Dude, I'm learning as we speak. Is that silver and... Oh, that's gold and silver. Okay, so gold and silver is second. So sorry, guys. In the Sorry. Okay, third gen. Yeah, I'm going to get crucified instantly for that it's all right though all right let me absorb your essence and then i'll catch you later <clears throat> okay tackle you know what for the sake let i i don't think i'll kill it psych i killed it it's all right bro there's plenty of puchiana if anything i should really grab a level three puchiana anyway so i'm not even tripping about it okay i don't know why i put my phone away i still have to know What's up in this route? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, here we go. Oh, Poochian is a 10%? And I just killed it twice? Yeah. I am not the smartest in the world here. Alright, we're pounding you. Okay. Well, I can't pound it again because I will kill it. So, we're going to go ahead and go to our bag. We're going to grab a Pokeball and we're going to throw it and hope for the best here. Gimme, gimme. Okay. So, give a nickname to Wormpool. No, because we're not going to use it. I like, okay, so there's certain Pokemon that, like, I know I'm not going to use, right? I, I know for a fact I'm not using Wormpool. I'm sorry, guys. Um, if anyone is a big fan of Wormpool, I am severely sorry. But we're still gonna, we do have to train a little bit while we're here. Like, we need to get Mr. Salad up a little bit. Oh, that, what, am I dumb? Why am I using a grass type or grass type move against the bug? Yeah, I am certified, and of course it crits. I'm a certified genius. Doctor at level. Do I catch this? No, I don't. I don't, I don't have that many Pokeballs. I really shouldn't. String shot. What are you gonna do? Lower my accuracy? Speed? Okay, whatever. You're still a worm. I could still outspeed you. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have killed the Puchiana. 
Oh, uh, well, that's my mistake. I'm sure you guys will find a way to forgive me in your hearts. Hey, there's another one. Okay. Forgiven. And it's level 3. Guchiana is pretty neat. I do like Guchiana. I'm gonna say something that might anger you guys. I think they kind of... The last evolution is kind... Or the evolution is not that great, in my opinion. I was gonna be honest. I think they could have made it so much cooler, but... Um... It's still a cool Pokemon. I just think something like Houndoom is just, like, so much better. Now, of course, Buchiana is a, norm a normal type, right? So, like, naturally, it, 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 you know, it's not gonna be as cool as, like, a dark-type dog, but still. I think they could've made it. I could think they could've made something cool with it. A savage who threatens foes with bared fangs, it chases after fleeing targets, it turns it turns tail and run, however, if it's... Whole... Okay, so here's the deal, right? I probably will use P uh, Puchiana because he's one of the cooler ones, at least, that comes off rip. So we gotta make a name for Puchiana. Okay. Just because I called its evolution ugly, we're gonna call it uh, Uggo. Your name shall be Uggo now. Alright, so there's one more we need to find, and that is the one that was harassing... Mr. Birch is there's still a zigzagoon around here somewhere. Ooh, I found the Pokemon. All right. It took an oddly long time, didn't it? Alright, let's go ahead and catch the Zigzagoon real quick. I'm like terrified I'm just gonna instantly kill it. Oh crap, dude. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Okay, let me not hit it again. Wow. Yeah, that took an odd- I mean, you guys could see it. I'm gonna time lapse it probably. That took an odd amount of time to find. It almost took so long that I leveled up enough to almost one-shot it, which is crazy. There we go, Zigzagoon in the decks. Alright, here we go. Nickname, no, we're not gonna nickname it, and we're gonna end off the video here. We're gonna go to the Pokestop, or we're gonna go to the... The... Thing, we're gonna heal, and then we're gonna save. Thanks for watching, guys.